Dragula Helix, I thought we'd avoid it. Oh. Well, what's the Mandragula Helix? It's a spiral of pure energy that radiates outwards in ways no one understands. Though at its centre there's a controlling intelligence. Intelligence? Yes. We're heading straight for it. Yes. It'll seem more active than usual. Let's hope we can counter-magnetize enough to resist the pull. Is it living? It's living all right. Well, that's all anyone <laughs> Push on and hope we come out the other side. Oh, it's inside my head. Concentrate, Sarah. Oh, what? Anything, anything. Oh, Set oh. the alphabet backwards. Come on. Z, Y. Don't you, you. Come on. It's all over. It's all over. Any effects? No. Nope. I don't think so. Are we there? Where? Where we're going? I don't know. The Astro Sextant rectifier's gone out of phase. I'll just go out and have a look. Not you, me. You stay there. My boot cover. You see what you mean about relative dimensions? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I told you to stay inside. What's that noise? What noise? Come on, quick! What? Get down! Come on, quick! No. Get out of here. What was this? Helix energy. Could have been very nasty. What do you mean, could have been very nasty? It was, Will you stop you? with me? Forced landing. You mean you weren't in control? Not that time. I didn't touch a thing. Promise. Oh, it's very pleasant. Nice, warm. Hmm? Maybe that's why I stopped using the old control room. Doctor, there's some fantastic oranges over here. Helix force fields must have distorted the coordinates. Landed on Earth. Glass technology indicates Mediterranean area. Late 15th century. Not a very pleasant time. Sarah? 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 Stop. Now, 
put the girl down, gently. Dragora energy. And I brought it here. It got into the TARDIS. Demnos, Demnos, Demnos. I swear he came in here, and there's no way out. Here. Are we chasing a phantom? Or a worshipper of Demnos. Those devils know a hundred secret ways under the city. A passage? Quick, then, let's find the trick. No, I ain't going in there, Giovanni. Not for all the gold in Rome. I know men who've tried. They've never been seen again.
Soldiers up there. We just have to wait till they've gone. See that? I was almost sacrificed to the great god Demnos. Yes, I know. Particularly nasty Roman sex. Supposed to have died out in the third century. Well, I thought you said just now we were in the 15th. Well, we are. And the cult of Demnos is still very much alive. So what was going on back there in the temple? Subthermal recombination of ionized plasma? Oh, simple. I should have thought of that. When we landed on Earth, we brought back with us part of the Mandragora Helix. I don't know how it got in the TARDIS, and now it's here in this temple. But why? Coincidence? I wonder what the Mandragora Helix is up to. Conquest? Invasion? They want to take over Earth and fill it with old Roman no. temples. Helix intelligences don't have a physical existence in the way you know about it. They don't need Earth. They want. What? There's something behind us. I can feel it in my bones. It is a dream of 2,000 years come true. Look! Neil, brothers. Ho, 
Because it curs, he's but one man. Calm, count, count. Take the sorcerer too. A gold piece to the first that splits him. <laughs> Seen. What? At least she's wandering around in these catacombs. Let's have a look at this shoulder. You've not spent all your life at books, Doctor. Just saved my life. This should staunch the blood. You know, the finest swordsman I ever saw was a captain in Cleopatra's bodyguard. He showed me a few points. I don't know that Florence Nightingale would approve this little lash up. Did you find the temple, Doctor? Oh, yes. Elix energy is still there, all right. Played some very nasty tricks. It is an omen. The mighty Demnos has returned his victim to us. She who is the chosen sacrifice. This one assists the foreign sorcerer. She may yet assist him to his death before her hour. Of glory. Master, the great blade of our god thirsts for blood. Patience. Before this night ends, priest, there will be blood in plenty. That I promise. We of the brethren bow to your command, Master. Then bind her well, so that she may not struggle and cry out. Bring her to my chamber. <laughs> a man of intelligence. Use your intelligence and save yourself pain. I shall not lie against the Duke. You can kill me first. <laughs> no. But we may kill you afterwards. Scarlatti's enthusiasm is such that not all survive his attention. You devils! Come now, Marco. Confess that Giuliano is a follower of Demnos, and I will reward you well. Come, man. What is your answer? <laughs> you insolent fool. Now you will truly learn what suffering is. <laughs> Good evening. You. What are you? It's time you and I had a little talk, Your Honor. Keep back. 
Huh? Keep away from me. Not sure of yourself yet. Influence comes and goes. I suppose that must be very worrying. Were you sent from the stars? Oh, well, you could say that, yes. They told me the voices that I would be joined by another. Give me a proof that you are the one. Fascinating. Predilluvian sandstone with a complex circuit of base metal fused into it. You defile the sacred image of Demnos. Hmm? Destroy him now. Hello, Sarah. Poison beetle. Strike him down! Oh, you don't want to hurt me, sir. I'm your friend, remember? Your best friend. Drop it. Drop it. <gasps> uh, the curse of Demnus on you, Sosa! Put it all for his head on us! Get! Stop him! Don't let him get away! Is he dead? No, sire. He's in the dungeons with the other prisoners. Then it is finished, Rossi. The Duke and his troublemakers will be dead and buried before combat. There is only Hieronymus, but he won't evade capture for long. There is nothing now that will stop him. Sir. Our walls are thick and solid and our guards well trained. A match for any in the land. At least we have your uncle to thank for that. So you think we have nothing to fear? I think by dawn, Hieronymus and his followers will have realized their mistake and they will leave San Martino to search for easier pickings elsewhere. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Needs be, sir, we can hold out here for a month. And long before that, the armies of neighboring states will have come to our aid. No. What's keeping him? He's been gone for ages. It was gone eight of the evening when I told the guard. Oh, he's waiting, not knowing what's happening to him. It's worse than being with him. Oh, with me? Profane the sacred stone. Hello there. Had a hard day in the catacombs, I think. You profane the sacred stone! Oh, come off it, Hieronymus. You know who I am. You can drop all that bosh about sacred stones and profanity. Just be your natural horrid self. Why have you come here, Time Lord? Would you believe it? I had no choice. Had it not been you, there would have been other travelers drawn into Mandragora's helix. Earth had to be possessed unchecked. Man's curiosity might lead him away from this planet until, ultimately, the galaxy itself might not contain him. We of Mandragora will not allow a rival power within our domain. Well, you see, that's a great pity because I can't allow you to interfere with Earth's progress. You arrogant dolt! How dare you oppose the might of Mandragora? It's part of a Time Lord's job to insist on justice for all species then you will be swept aside like the dirt that you are. Die, Doctor. The 
some lords don't die that easily. Shall crush you. Tell me what happened. Doctor, it is you. of Mandragora down. The brethren, we've been tricked, betrayed. Say them. Take them below. It was written, the power of Mandragora will flood the earth. Mandragora, we, your servants, welcome you. Bestow your power upon us, that we may rule over the whole of your dominion. Rather clever. A case of energy squared. It puts Mandragora back to square one. Well, don't just stand there. I'm in the market for congratulations. I wouldn't even say no to a salami sandwich. <laughs> Goodbye, Giuliano. Goodbye, Doctor. This is lovely salami, thank you. Oh, it's we who should thank you. Won't you reconsider? I'm already committed, sorry. There's so much we could learn from you. It'll all come in time. Keep an open mind. That's the secret. Goodbye, Juliana. Come on, Sarah. Oh, coming! Hey, thanks for inviting me to the ball. Smashing. Oh, what did you think of Leonardo? Leonardo, Leonardo who? Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, that Leonardo. No, I didn't get to see him. Good thing, too. Oh? Why? Well, his submarine design wasn't exactly practical, you know. <laughs> oh, poor Giuliano. He looks so wistful. Yes. Will he have any more trouble for Mandragora? No, he won't. But the Earth will. Their constellation will be in position to try again in about 500 years. 500 years, that takes us to just about the end of the 20th century. That's right. Now, that was an interesting century. What do you mean, was? Come on. If somebody just passed me this and says, don't forget to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel. Well, how could I possibly forget that? For goodness sake. You've got the message, haven't you? 
don't forget Doctor Who YouTube channel now.